नमस्कार वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल दी व्यूअर्स एंड लर्नर्स इन दिस लाइव इंटरक्शन ऑफ सी आई टी एंड सी आर टी आई एम रेणु भट्ट विद यू ऑल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग दिस लाइव ऑन ई विद यर चैनल चैनल नंबर टेन एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस चैनल यू आर विद अस ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल एज वेल दैट इज एन सी ई आर टी पी एम ई विद यर क्लास नंबर टेन सो वेरी वॉम वेलकम अगेन एंड दिस सेशन इज फॉर इंग्लिश टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स एंड द टॉपिक इज टू स्टोरीज अबाउट फ्लाइंग फर्स्ट स्टोरीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द टाइटल वॉज हिज फर्स्ट फ्लाइट अबाउट अ सी गर्ल एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अ स्टोरी दैट इज द ब्लैक एरोप्लेन द हूज ब्लैक एरोप्लेन वॉज दैट सो वी हैव ज्वाइन बाय आर एक्सपर्ट्स टू थ्रो मोर लाइट ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी विद ऑल द फैक्ट्स एंड ऑल द इंटरेस्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डीले लेट्स क्विकली मीट है यू आर डॉक्टर अश्विनी संदीप पाटिल वेरी वॉम वेलकम मैम थैंक यू एंड मैम इज करेंटली सर्विंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन इन लैंग्वेजेज एन आई ई एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली सो डियर लर्नर्स एंड व्यूवर्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी रिलेटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी और यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट दिस स्टोरी यू कैन रीच आउट टू अस थ्रू आर वेरियस मीडियम्स सो यू कैन कॉल अस ऑन आर टेलीफोन नंबर दैट इज डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन ईदर यू कैन ड्रॉप अ मेल एज वेल आर ई मेल एड्रेस इज डी टी एच डॉट क्लास टेंथ एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन एंड इफ यू हैव जॉइंड अस थ्रू आर यूट्यूब चैनल दैन यू हैव टू गो टू द लाइव चेट बुक्स एंड दन ओनली यू कैन ड्रॉप योर कमेंट आउट दे आर एक्सपर्ट विल बी मोर दैन हैप्पी टू आंसर ऑल योर क्वेरीज एंड डाउट्स इफ यू हैव एनी सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट स्टोरी दैट इज द ब्लैक एरोप्लेन सो मैम वॉट दिस स्टोरी इज ऑल अबाउट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन मैम थैंक यू today we are going to talk about uh, chapter number 3 and the title of this chapter is two stories about flying the one story there are two stories first one is his first flight and second one is the black aeroplane in my previous session i already talked about our first story that is his first flight in which we discussed how young sea girl Uh, tries to conquer his fear and uh, takes his first flight the second story is here uh, the entitled as the black aeroplane and it is written by frederick fosith the story is short one and we are going to enjoy it and i also ask you people to read it because you can just finish its reading within just 10 minutes so it's a wonderful story and we are going to enjoy it Definitely, ma'am. We'll enjoy this uh, particular story. But before that, could you please tell us something about the writer, ma'am? Yes, the writer of the present story is um, Frederick Fosith, and uh, he was born on twenty fifth August nineteen hundred and thirty eight. He is well known as English novelist and journalist, and best known for thriller stories. His works frequently appear on bestsellers list and more than a dozen of his titles have been adapted to film also. And we must keep in mind here that before becoming a journalist he worked as a pilot and uh, same experience he is going to share here in the present story. It is again uh, worth noting that he wrote more than 15 novels and number of short stories. Okay. so turning to our present story the black aeroplane here the story is about the experience of flying an aeroplane and narrator talks about his risk taking attitude his courage his confidence his never giving up attitude and uh, you may say his win win attitude as well okay the story has some mysterious elements and that is going to make this story interesting one and uh, that's why we call it as a mystery story as mm -hmm. well so ma'am before we jump into this story i just wanted to know about what does it mean the black aeroplane what does it symbolize ma'am yeah the story is about uh, you know experience of flying an aeroplane but here the title is giving given as the black aeroplane why because you know the narrator here is going to tell us something mysterious about that black aeroplane and therefore the title is here as black aeroplane that aeroplane was uh, you know a black and without having given lights on its wings and it was a completely uh, you know uh, pilots when he looks at it 
it was completely black and that's why a narrator here entitles or writer here entitles the present story as the black aeroplane okay okay see uh, i told you the story contains mysterious elements hmm. okay so uh, what is the meaning of mystery and how uh, all these mysterious elements are uh, involved in the present story. So, exact meaning of mystery, mystery means something which we of which we do not understand or something that is uh, beyond our understanding. Okay, something is there uh, which we cannot explain or something is there which we cannot uh, rationally prove. All these things you may call uh, them as a mystery and mystery, mystery story is a story which contains all such elements and present story again uh, we are going to experience uh, one mysterious uh, event here as well. So, mystery story is uh, a story in which strange thing happen and that are not explained until the end or uh, those may left unfolded. So, a uh, present story does not explain uh, the mystery. So, it is unfolded mystery. So, my question to you people do you believe in mysteries if as yes, then why and if no then why you know if you have ever experienced any mysterious event in your life then also you may feel free to share that experience with us ok. So, uh, we would like to uh, listen from your side as well. You know hmm. world is full of mysteries hmm. and our scientists are working to unfold those mysteries. So, uh, it is again interesting uh, thing for our students also to know about mysteries and to unfold those mysteries. So, I think uh, the present story uh, along with learning we are going to uh, enjoy it as well. Okay, moving forward, uh, see the present story, it, 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 it is about uh, uh, an experience of flying an aeroplane and we come to know here that uh, storyteller is a pilot and I told you the narrator also worked as a pilot. Okay. So, here narrator uh, uh, narrates his experience of flying an aircraft late at night and uh, you know uh, he, 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 he is, is sharing this experience of flying at night in his old Dakota airplane and he is happy and contented to fly over a city that is sleeping ok. And one more thing is uh, here uh, important for him that uh, he is excited why because he is going to his homeland and his homeland is England ok. So, he is excited even to meet his family and to have uh, that uh, you know a nice breakfast with his family members ok. And so, let us uh, let us see a, a story how it uh, goes uh, ahead. The story starts like this ok. This is the first paragraph of our story and it is it is written in a very simple language and in first reading we can observe meaning of the story. See let us read it. The moon was coming up in the east behind me and stars were shining in the clear sky above me. There was not a cloud in the sky. I was happy to be alone high up above the sleeping countryside. I was flying my old Dakota aeroplane over France back to England. I was dreaming of my holiday and looking forward to being with my family. I looked at my watch 1.30 in the morning. So, it is midnight and in the very first paragraph we uh, come to know many more details about the narrator and about the story as well. Okay, the story starts with the narrator describing the moon coming up in the east and star shining in the clear sky above. And the narrator is thrilled to be alone high up above in the uh, uh, above um, in uh, the sleeping countryside ok and flying in his old Dakota aeroplane of France back to England. So, you may just observe the first paragraph and how many things the narrator told us in this first paragraph and this is the you know art of storytelling to tell many more things in a few words mm. in a precise manner ok. So, See what we came to know through this first paragraph 
that it's a clear and starry night and uh, you know pilot dreams about his family and also excited uh, to spend his long holiday with them okay and uh, this is you know in the first paragraph we came to know but after few minutes situation changed suddenly as soon as he uh, you know crosses uh, paris he notices dark clouds signifying an upcoming storm so here the situation changed and now uh, the sky is not clear and the uh, you know dark storms are signifying upcoming storm and uh, it is expected that he should uh, turn back to paris for safety but this does not happen and here pilot decides to continue okay he decides to take a risk okay so let us see what happens next here in the next paragraph narrator tells us that i saw the clouds storm clouds they were huge they looked like black mountains standing in front of me across the sky i knew i could not fly up and over them and i did not have enough fuel to fly around them to the north to south i ought to go back to paris i thought but i wanted to get home i wanted that breakfast i will take the risk i thought and flew that old dakota straight into the storm see how despite of turning back to paris for safety the narrator's or that pilot's desire to go to home and meet his family members pushed him to take a daring risk right and this is something which we have to think ki uh, what is this why the pilot takes such a dangerous decision and here he takes that risk why because just to reach home and he was sure that there was not enough fuel as well but even though he decided to take that risk then you may imagine what happened next suddenly you know everything gets dark and all the instruments stop working and he loses control of the aeroplane and hope of the survival even and what now happens with him he starts uh, being panic now he cannot do anything else as there was no any other way to come out of that storm and this moment narrator captures in these words in the, this next paragraph see inside the clouds everything was suddenly black it was impossible to see anything outside the aeroplane the old aeroplane jumped and twisted in the air i looked at the compass i couldn't believe my eyes the compass was turning round and round and round it was dead it wouldn't work the other instruments were suddenly dead i tried the radio the radio was dead too i had no radio no compass and could not see where i was i was lost in the storm see how the situation changed and this is the climax of the story see inside the clouds he entered into the stormy clouds and inside the clouds everything was you know black hmm. and it was impossible he tells us it was impossible to see anything outside the aeroplane that old dakota aeroplane jumped and twisted in the air now he looks at the compass and he uh, it got a shock that even the compass was not working no even radio and even other instruments all of them suddenly stopped working and now he realized that there is no any other way to come out of this and he says in the last line that i was lost in the storm so now it is interesting to see what happens with this pilot will he survive you can think hmm. and uh, you can tell us of course we can just uh, uh, get the clue he 
is survived because he is here to tell us the story. Exactly. Right. So, a pilot he lost in the stormy clouds, does he arrive safe and he, if he arrives safe then how hmm. and who helps him to come out of this storm. This is interesting to know here. Okay. So, what happens next? He sees the black aeroplane. Okay. And that black aeroplane, you know, gives a solace to his mind. And this is a, you know, fortunate thing uh, happened with our pilot that uh, he, he sees that another aeroplane flying next to him through that storm. And the pilot of that black aeroplane uh, uh, you know waves hand to our pilot and ask him to follow him and our pilot or narrator like a obedient child decides to follow that black aeroplane ok and um, he, he was uh, you know sure that there is no enough fuel that thing again uh, is uh, you know um, not good for uh, our pilot. So, he, uh, you, he, he gets frightened even, but that anonymous or that unknown aeroplane, black aeroplane guides him uh, to come out of the storm okay? and uh, when he uh, looks at that aeroplane, that black aeroplane suddenly disappears. And uh, now our pilot wants to uh, give thanks to that uh, pilot of that black aeroplane because that black aeroplane saved his life and so after landing the narrator uh, you know goes to the control room and asks uh, in the control room to the lady about that uh, aeroplane and that pilot but the re lady replies see the lady's reply the lady replies another aeroplane up there in this storm no other aeroplanes were flying tonight he was was the only one i could see on the radar so after listening this the narrator got a shock hmm. and he could not you know uh, think about it who was there okay so it was again interesting to find out who helped him and who was there in that black aeroplane uh, during that stormy uh, stormy climate. Hmm. Okay. And now writer here tells us that the how this incident you know changed his life and it saved his life even. And the story ends with our last paragraph. See he says so, who helped me to arrive there safely without a compass or a radio and without any more fuel in my tanks? Who was the pilot on the strange black aeroplane flying in the storm without lights? Okay. So, this is a big question and this is a you know mysterious thing happened with the pilot and here the narrator or the pilot is you know. Uh, unable to unfold that mystery because he did not get the answer who was there and that why that black aeroplane came there to support him to help him to come out of that storm. So, the story here tells us about uh, some important facts hmm. and we, we, we need to have, we need to think about it critically. Hmm. So, I ask hey, students to, to, to think critically. Hmm whether mysteries really exist. Okay. So, um, uh, that was indeed a uh, mysterious and interesting story I would rather say, but uh, what is the moral of the lesson? lesson? Could you please explain this to our learners ma'am? Yes, yes. Okay. So, what is the moral? I ask you people to think about it critically. You have to think about it and try to find out the moral. So, when I uh, look at the story, the story teaches us an uh, important lesson that is never giving up attitude. So, whether the situation is uh, in your favor or it is a positive your favor, still you need to face it courageously. You just do not give up and try to you know come out of the situation. 
narrator here has taken risk and it was a daring risk. Hmm. So, you tell me whether that risk, that risk taking attitude was good or bad. Should we take such a life threatening, such a dangerous risk in hmm. our life? So, it is a point to think critically, but when we look about the moral, moral lesson, then the story teaches us uh, courage, strong determination, a uh, strong desire and you know risk taking attitude and of course, never giving up attitude. So, we learn these things from the pilot, his strong determination, his uh, strong desire helped him to reach at that uh, place safely. Hmm. Ma'am, you were talking about uh, critical thinking. Why critical thinking is very much important for students, ma'am? Yeah. You know, critical thinking is hmm. a one of the uh, skills hmm. of 21st century. Right. So, when we talk about 21st century students, our student must be able to communicate and uh, then uh, collaboration is there, communication skill is there, creative thinking is there and critical thinking is also there. So, we should develop our ability to think critically and the story encourages us to think critically. Okay, critical thinking attitude helps us to solve problems, to uh, no, you come up with solutions hmm. and critical thinking ability helps us even to take right decision at right time hmm. and that is why critical thinking ability is important for the students and for everybody hmm. to, to, to solve the problems and to take right decision hmm. at right time focus on the solution rather than the problem. Exactly. Right? We okay. must be problem solvers hmm. and uh, we know must not be a problem creators. Right. Okay. So, just hmm. uh, this is the thing hmm. uh, which we have to develop and here the point and wonderful thing uh, which we have got here hmm. to think whether such a mysteries exist. So, right. we have to think critically, rationally hmm. and hmm. then we have to come up with the solution hmm. whether these mysteries really exist or no. not. So, so, it is our students hmm. task to think and to hmm. come up with uh, many more solutions. So, they have uh, several solutions, right. So, ma'am, we still have uh, almost 3 minutes left for the session. What else you have for the students, ma'am? Okay. I, 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 I even asked the students hmm. to rewrite the story. Okay. Uh, changing its ending, hmm. giving uh, alternative ending also. So, you may, may think and you may write uh, the story in your own way as well. And one more thing uh, here, something about uh, word black hmm. and how the word black changes its meaning. So, uh, here first sentence is, he gave me a black look. We generally say, we generally hmm. hear that somebody says, he gave me a black look. Hmm. So, what does this mean? Here, black look means not a dark look, right? Hmm. Black look means, uh, you know, angry look. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, face showing anger and hatred. If that is the situation, then you can say he or she gave me a black look. Then, second, go and wash your black hands. So, here black hand means your dirty hands. We can hmm. immediately generate meaning here. Hmm. Third, the passenger offered him a black ticket. So, many times we hear about black ticket, black ticket hmm. it is a illegal ticket right now. Hmm. Next, I prefer black tea, black tea means of course, tea without having milk, milk right. Hmm. And last one, very few people enjoy Herald Pinter's black comedy. So, it is a type of comedy hmm. in which a tragic and distressful uh, subject matter is presented humorously, ok. Hmm. So, uh, you will get many more words uh, having uh, this hmm. word uh, black, many more sentences and uh, you may collect it for your uh, enjoyment and for your learning as well. Okay, And that is it uh, what uh, we learned today in our present uh, story, the black aeroplane. Hmm. So, that was the story and I am quite sure our, all the viewers including all the students uh, love that uh, story and they have their own opinion and own uh, ending for this particular story as well. So, ma'am, uh, at the end of the session, uh, what would you like to share with all these students if they want to read more, what they would prefer, ma'am? 
it depends upon uh, everybody's interest hmm. right now some people like to uh, read uh, science, science fiction some like horror fiction okay some like to uh, read short stories whatever you like whatever may be your interest you just go for that read it read read and read and uh, then only you will be able to write in a well manner and speak uh, confidently and fluently so uh, taking this story ahead i like um, uh, our students to uh, give some message to narrator even to pilot mm. even whether it is good to take such a dangerous risk or not what would you like to suggest hmm. okay share your comments with us so um, what would be your message for all the teachers who are going to read this or who are going to study this uh, stories these stories in the class ma'am okay when we uh, study and uh, teach especially stories hmm. what we have to do that we must know uh, different layers and different elements of story okay so uh, storytelling is even art okay so we teachers must be able to create interest hmm. among those stories and uh, we can uh, make it uh, lively for our students and then our students will enjoy it and definitely they will remember it for a lifetime so this is the uh, you know task for the teachers to hmm. make it interesting to make it uh, lively Hmm. okay and then and then only our students will uh, absorb some meaning and they will uh, you know um, gain some knowledge even right so that was your message for all the teachers out there and it's time for me to wrap up this session but thank you so very much ashwini ma'am for your precious time for thank this wonderful you. story and for your beautiful explanation to the story thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you thank you to all the uh, viewers out there it's time for me to wrap up this session but you stay tuned to e vidya channels for our next uh, program for that will be for science 10 standard students the te topic would be magnetic effects of electric current part second so be with us it's time for me to take your leave namaskar